Today is the feast day of Prudence Crandall. And if you've not heard her story, it's a fabulous story to hear. And particularly during a time that we are celebrating our educators who are taking on so much, who are learning new ways to teach and to inspire students. And our prayers are with them anyway during this time as well as with our students who are learning new ways to learn but certainly a good day for us to hear the story of Prudence Crandall. Um, Prudence Crandall lived in Canterbury, Connecticut and she ran a girls school there. About 1830-ish she admitted a young African-American girl named Sarah Harris to her school the Harris family wanted their daughter educated so that she would be able to go back to their community and educate other African American children. And the parents at Prudence Crandall School were outraged and um, demanded Sarah Harris's expulsion. But Crandall decided instead that she would open a new school just for African American girls. And you think about this at the turn of the 19th century not something that anyone would be brave enough to do. Um, and all kinds of threats followed her. Um, ultimately, the state legislature passed a law to outlaw the school that she was um, teach that the school where she was teaching because she was indeed receiving students from other states. Um, she was arrested, she was jailed, um, ultimately convicted, but um, a higher court overturned her conviction and um, she ended up closing her school just a couple of years after it got started. We celebrate those who choose to educate in our communities because they do take on so much and all of us, every single one of us is dependent on those who choose to educate I know how much I am grateful and how much I owe to teachers and professors who came before me and who made it possible for me to be able to enjoy so many things in life. And so particularly during these days as our educators are challenged by so many things and facing so many things and learning so many things and still teaching and inspiring our students. We celebrate those who take risks. We celebrate those who choose to educate and who choose to make our society a better place. And now we offer our collect on this day that we celebrate Prudence Crandall. God, the wellspring of justice and strength, we thank you for raising up in Prudence Crandall a belief in education and a resolute will to teach girls of every color and race, that alongside her they might take their place in working for the nurture and well being of all society, undaunted by prejudice or adversity. Grant that we, following her example, may participate in the work of building up the human family in Christ your word and wisdom, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God, now and forever. Amen. And I encourage you, thank a teacher today. He or she will appreciate knowing how much they mean to us all. Blessings.